We're gonna talk about artificial sweeteners. Oh my gosh, you know how many times I get asked about this? Now raise your hand if you know that artificial sweeteners are bad for you. Now all of y'all raise your hands. Now who knows there's artificial sweeteners in your diet soda? Gatorade, all your like calorie free stuff mouthwash, toothpaste, all sorts of stuff, okay? But people always ask me this, Dr. Vong, why are, what's wrong with artificial sweeteners? They have artificial zero nutrition. calories. Dr. Vong, why can't I have them? They have no calories. All right, so the first thing I tell you is this. Who has migraines or headaches? Anyone? Yep. Come on now, if you're a married woman, that's what you get every month, right? No, not tonight, honey, I have a headache. <laughs> now we know that artificial sweeteners are gonna lead you to migraines and headaches. I promise you, if you, got, if you get regular headaches or migraines, you need to cut out your artificial sweeteners. That includes your so it includes the stuff you add as well as the stuff you don't know about, the sugar-free stuff, etc. right? So, um, now the problem is, they are everywhere. You think it's just the stuff you're adding to your tea or your coffee in the morning. What you don't realize is they use artificial sweeteners in a lot of food products. I used to think there were only four or five artificial sweeteners until I Googled it. When I was a little kid, there was only the pink stuff. What was, what's the pink stuff? Sweet. Sweet. See, y'all know that. Yeah. And then they got the blue stuff. And, they did. and we all freaked out when they got the blue stuff. We're like, oh my God! We have a choice now. But if you go Google artificial sweeteners, you will find a list about this long. Half the names you can't pronounce, you never even heard of. I prom It's a list of about 20. I did it yesterday, you try it. Okay. So that means they're everywhere and you don't know, you don't know about it. Okay, but let's just talk about what you know about. We know it causes migraines. And we know, we have studies now that show it's going to worsen your diabetes, diabetes. Yes. and your metabolic syndrome, mm -hmm. which is your obesity and that beer gut and the high blood pressure and the sleep apnea, all that stuff. But Dr. Vong, this is why I use artificial sweeteners because my doctor said it wouldn't spike up my blood sugars. Well, it won't, but it wreak havoc in other ways. So, for example, we know if you use artificial sweeteners, drink sodas, you are more likely to consume sweets and therefore more calories. More sweets and more calories. You're more likely to snack. You're more likely to have that brownie, that craving in the middle of the night. I can't control it. Dr. Vaughn, what do I do about that craving in the middle of the night? Stop drinking your diet sodas. But it doesn't have any calories, Dr. Vaughn. What's so bad about it? Okay. Now, why does this happen? Anybody know? Number three is this. Non-nutritive. That's a good word. Non-nutritive sweeteners. That's what these are. Do not satisfy your sweet craving. Okay? So do not, do not satisfy your craving for sweets. Got it? Is there any arguing about this? Your decision to have sugar-free Jello, sugar-free pecan pie, is not going to satisfy your sugar craving, which is weird because it tastes really sweet. Now here's the question. Let's write these down. I had to write these down. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh shit. <laughs> the pink stuff is called what? Sweet, 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 sweet and. Low and the product is what? Saccharin. Yeah, baby, saccharin. The blue stuff equal. 
is equal. Came out. We were all excited. It's called ascertain. Ass. Partain. Ass part of me. Hey, look at that. Um, the yellow stuff. Splenda. Splenda. It's not splendid. It's yeah. not splendid. Yeah. It is. Anyone know? Oh, it's, uh, I don't know. it's sucralose. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I had to look it up. The new one is Truvia. Yeah. Which is usually the brown packet, right? Yeah. Or green. Or green. Or green. Oh yeah, green. Or green. 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 Yeah, green. Green. Truvia. Which is, comes from what? Stevia plant. Stevia. Stevia plant. Now this shit drives me nuts. They go, Dr. Vaughn, what's so bad about Truvia? It's a plant. What's wrong with Stevia? I thought it was good for you. It's natural. It comes from a plant. See, the problem is, here's the problem. You fell for the marketing. You fell for the marketing. Because the marketing says it comes from a plant. So you're thinking in your head, some old Japanese gardener, <laughs> is singing and dancing and just loving this, you know, the stevia plant, and then he meticulously harvests it. He boils it down or crushes it or something, and poof, you have this magical white powder. That's all natural. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. But it's not. It's, there is no stevia in Truvia. It's actually a chemical derivative. Yeah. So they they process this chemical. They make this chemical. And I had to write it down because I can't even remember it. It's here. Re bodi o side A. There is no stevia in Truvia. It's a chemical called Re bodi o side A. Okay. So I don't don't matter. Yeah. So here's the question. We all know that these artificial sweeteners are sweeter than sugar, yes? So you're going to have one teaspoon, one teaspoon of sugar. This is the white stuff, sugar. So how much sweeter is sweet and low? Do you think it's eight times? times. People are guessing four times. Who thinks it's four times, five times, eight times, ten times? It's a lot sweeter than regular. What is it? What's a lot? Because we say a lot. Um, what does it mean? I would use less than that than Sugar. Somebody give me a number. One drop to one teaspoon. Fifty percent. Fifty percent sweeter. Seventy-five. So if this one teaspoon, fifty percent, you understand what that means, right? That means this would be one point five times sweeter, right? You understand that? Sweet and low is five hundred times sweeter. So for one teaspoon, oh, for one, one, so in other words, one teaspoon is equal to 500 teaspoons of sugar wow, to get the sweetness level. So it came to group. So let's start with stevia, rebonda side A. It's 200 times sweeter. But it's all natural, Dr. Vaughn. It's all natural. So then Your equal is 200 times sweeter. Your Splenda, the yellow stuff, is 600 times sweeter. What? Now, who has put a packet of the yellow stuff in their coffee or the tea before? How about two packets? Yeah. Three packets. Keep your hands up. Four packets. Does that make sense? So, question if you're drinking. Who's drank one diet soda a day before? Who's drank two diet sodas oh, a day? No, Three diet sodas? Four diet sodas? Five? Sorry. I'm still okay. going? Six <laughs> diet sodas? Sorry. Who's a ten <laughs> diet soda a day? You all used to drink ten diet sodas a day? Yeah. So if you're drinking ten diet sodas a day, how sweet's an apple gonna be? Not very. Not at all. How sweet's banana? Peaches. Now, here's the problem. We know they don't satisfy your sweet craving, so now you're going to start reaching for stuff in the middle of the night, after dinner, after your, caf your decaffeinated tea. Does that make sense? And it's in a lot of products you all drink and eat. Okay? <coughs> so the question was, how sweet is an apple? 
The answer is this. It depends which apple you're talking about. You talking about a Granny Smith apple? How sweet are those? Ugh, they're tart. Are you talking about Red Delicious, Macintosh, Honey Crisp? You know, am here, y'all write this one down. Ambrosia apples. If you have never had ambrosia apple, you're missing out. They are the best apples. But I don't care how sweet the ambrosia is. If you're drinking 10 diet sodas a day, you're never going to taste it. Because here's the truth. Okay? When you drink everything that has these sweeteners, all you taste is sweet. But when you eat an apple, you taste a Macintosh. You taste an ambrosia. You taste a, a golden. <coughs> Does that make sense what I'm saying? Okay. So, and I'm just talking about the food choices you're making when it comes to artificial sweeteners. I'm not even talking about the havoc it wreaks on your body, your swollen legs, your lymphedema. Your lymphedema is a diet soda problem. I promise you. Okay. Your taste headaches, confusion, destroyed. taste, everything. Does that make sense? Hey, good talk on yeah, really sweeteners, good. yes? Yep. Helpful? Yeah.